Back in the mid to late 2000s, I had what seemed like every UMPC. I had the Rayon Digital Everon, the Everon Note, the OQO Model 2, but all suffered the same fate. They had the good, decent idea, but the hardware just couldn't keep up. Fast forward to 2017, and I'm gonna review this. Hi, my name is Andrew, and this is the AMD Tech unboxing and first look at the GPD Pocket, perhaps the world's smallest laptop. GPD raised some eyebrows when they were able to raise almost $3.5 million on their Indiegogo campaign. If you were lucky enough to get in on that, you got it for a discount at about $399. The retail price, which is what I paid, is $499. I'll put the link below to where you can get more information and where you can buy it. You can get the GPD Pocket in two variants. You can get the Ubuntu 16.04 LTS version or what I have here, Windows 10 Home. Powering this mini laptop is the Intel Atom X7 Z8700 Cherry Trail processor. It's got 8GB of RAM and 128GB of eMMC storage. It's a bit unusual to see 8GB of RAM in an Intel Cherry Trail device, but it certainly will help in performance. We'll talk more about benchmarks and full testing in the full review coming soon. The GPD Pocket weighs only 1.06 pounds or 0.48 kilograms. It's light, thin, and very portable. And it has an all-metal design made of CNC machined aluminum, and it has a very premium look and feel. I was really surprised on just how high-end this really is. The GPD Pocket sports a 7-inch IPS touch display. It's covered in Gorilla Glass 3 and has a resolution of 1920 by 1200. That's 323 pixels per inch and it has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. Initial impressions of the display so far are that it is not the brightest display in the world, but it's very sharp, colors seem pretty accurate, viewing angles are excellent. And I also like the fact that the touchscreen is very responsive. So if you don't want to use the track point that it comes with, you can use the touchscreen, which I found myself using more and more. I am really impressed with this display. I think GPD did a nice job. All the ports are located on the right side of the device, but one thing you're going to notice is a heat vent, and that is because this does have a fan, and it does kick in to keep this unit cool. Now, because it's so small, because it's so compact, a fan was necessary. And next to that is a USB Type-C. This is where you'll charge your device, and next to that is a micro HDMI port. You can connect to a monitor or to a TV. And you also get a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, and you also get a full-size USB Type-A 3.0. Believe it or not, they were able to fit a QWERTY keyboard on this mini laptop, but of course it's going to be cramped as this is only a 7-inch device. And I was pleasantly surprised on how much I liked this keyboard. The key travel was pretty good. I'm, I'm guessing around 1.3 to 1.4 millimeters of key travel, and considering the size, the spacing was pretty good. The keyboard is also very sturdy as there was very little flex on it. Nicely done in terms of engineering. And because there's no room for a touchpad, they had to go with a track point. And it worked pretty well, much like the IBM ThinkPads, that style. If you like those, then you'll be fine. I found myself using the touchscreen more often than not. As far as sound is concerned, there's one speaker located on the bottom of the device. Now let's hear it in action. Considering how small this device and the fact that it only has a mono speaker, it's pretty good. It's not the greatest in the world and I didn't have any expectations that it would be good. So I was actually pleasantly surprised that it wasn't so terrible. Of course, if you want to have the better listening experience, connect it to Bluetooth headphones or the 3.5 millimeter headset jack, which work flawlessly. I ordered my unit from the GPD AliExpress store and they got it to me in a matter of days which I was really impressed with. Packaging was pretty decent as it comes in bubble wrap and the packaging itself is pretty high end. I was kind of impressed on just how well it was packaged. Opening the box you're greeted by the unit itself along with the power adapter and charging cable. Now the charging cable is USB type C which I'm very happy to see and the charging adapter is 5 volts 3 amps. 
Pulling out the unit for the first time, you're really struck by just how small and light this mini laptop is. It's pretty amazing if you think about it. And they also give you a screen protector and you also get some documentation which is in both English and in Chinese. The GPD Pocket sports a 7,000 milliampere battery. I'm guessing you're gonna get about eight hours on normal use. I'll do my full testing and benchmarks and charging times as well in the full review coming very soon. The unit I have runs Windows 10 Home and it also has eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of eMMC storage of which 103 are available to the user. And speaking of eMMC, it's a Samsung branded eMMC, so it's good to see. Some initial benchmarks before we do our full testing. We were able to get some eMMC scores on the Crystal Disk Mark test. Here's how it did, pretty much on par with what we'd expect from this Intel Cherry Trail device. And here's how it did on the Geekbench 4 test. It did a 3328 on the multi-core score and its built-in graphics did 5845. This is certainly not a powerhouse, but what we would expect on this level of device. So what do you think about the GPD Pocket? Do you think it is the UMPC you've been waiting for? I was always a big fan of the UMPCs and this is reminiscent of those UMPCs back in 2008 or so. I had the uh, OQO Model 1, Model 2, I don't know if you remember those. I had the Rayon Digital Everon, one of my favorite UMPCs of all time. I took that play thing everywhere. I took it on airplanes, meetings, always on the go, lasted forever, great battery life on that thing. Of course, it was slow and didn't have the up-to-date processor. But of course, this is a up-to-date 2017, very capable machine with the Intel Atom uh, Cherry Trail device. It's got eight gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of eMMC storage. I really do like it. I think this build quality, it's all metal design, is premium, something that really surprised me. And it's not cheap. Now, if you got in in the Indiegogo campaign, you got it at, I think, $3.99 or so. I paid retail $4.99 and it, I got it from the GPD AliExpress store, but you can get it from Gearbest and you can get it from Banggood. I'll put the link below for more information and where you can buy one. But I'm curious to know what you think of the uh, GPD Pocket. Have you picked one up? Did you back the Indiegogo campaign where they raised more than $3 million? I am curious to know how it's working out for you if you received yours and what you think of it. I think this is really something interesting. It's a lot of fun. And the thing I really was uh, taken aback and surprised by the most with this device is just how much fun it is to use. I've only had it a couple of days, but I've pretty much taken it everywhere. And it really is pocketable. Now, I, I, you know, it's a bit thick and I wouldn't really carry it in jeans and so forth, but you can put it in your suit pocket and so forth and you can take it in your bag and not really feel it. At just over a pound, it's very light and very portable. A perfect scenario for this device would be on the airplane for media consumptions, for things like Netflix, YouTube, watching movies, uh, listening to music. You know, things that you don't maybe not necessarily want to take a big 12.9 inch iPad or a 10 and a half inch iPad or so forth. You want to take a seven inch device, but you also want to be productive. You want to be able to do other things on it. And this obviously with running Windows 10 Home, it can do those things. Again, I want to know what you think. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you want to see in the full review, which of course is coming very soon after I do full testing on this device, put it through its paces as we normally do here at AMD Tech. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and of course our website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.